How's it going guys? Jackson here with the Toaster Bros and today I'm going to be showing you guys this Anit A6. Hope you guys enjoy. So I got this printer from GearBest.com. They have all sorts of different really cool items and they have quite a few freaking 3D printers. I can tell you that, that they have so many to choose from. Uh, I ended up getting the Anet A6. This is a really good entry level printer now. One of the big drawbacks I'm gonna go ahead and say right off the bat is that it takes forever to put this thing together. Um, literally each one of these little plastic pieces here comes basically completely separate with film over them. So you gotta take off all the film, but you don't have to. You could technically leave it on there if you want to. Cause this is kind of a custom printer type of job. You just, you put everything together yourself and um, you know, if you're to leave certain things out or decide you wanna add custom things on later, of course you can. Also you're gonna have to do some fine tuning once you get it set up, such as your hot bled here. You have these screws in each corner. Now you're gonna have to make it to where the extruder, which is the little gold piece right down there and I'll kind of focus in on that that's where the filament feeds into and it that's where it heats up inside of here and then it basically extrudes it out and then you get stuff like this which I'll let you kind of see the back of it and hopefully we can get in close enough here we guys can kind of see the individual and yeah, see what this you really can't but here's a little example of kind of what the individual fibers look like once they're laid down but you can see it lays them down very very nicely they're actually so close together that you really can't tell the um, the fine lines apart just because it kind of melts it all together really nicely so like I said the first adjustment is these on the hotbed and then the other adjustment that I would kind of say is somewhat of an adjustment is you can see these little buttons right here now what these do these are basically end stops so it makes it to where whenever something like this goes to one corner I don't know if you guys can hear that click it's very faint but basically 
It's so that the printer knows exactly where everything is. There's one on each axis because it's an XYZ axis. So there's basically one of these little stoppers on each one. Now, I kind of had to actually bend them just a little bit. And the reason I had to do that was because, for example, this one was trying to go too far. It was getting to a point where it would get stuck and it wasn't clicking that and it would basically just get really loud because the belt was slipping on the motors. So each one of these I kind of had to bend out just a little bit. You kind of just take a pair of pliers, even your fingers, just make sure you don't break it and you just pull out on the end to where it kind of pushes the end out some and has a little roller on here too. So, you know, you're kind of thinking, all right, so <laughs> there's a whole lot of installation that goes on with this. And I can tell you that it probably took me about five hours total to figure everything out. But I will say I was very discouraged and I was like, man, this isn't going to be worth it. But once I started printing stuff off, let's just say it kind of just spiraled from there. I was, you know, I've had so much fun with it um, and I kind of just got it finally working right today. So you can see I printed off this uh, little Talency logo here. That's the YouTube partnership that we're with. And I kind of I made this myself actually online. There's a few different online um, 3D printer softwares you can use. And then there's also ones, of course, you can download that are a lot more professional. But I haven't gotten into those just yet. I'll show you guys a couple other things I made. So here's a, you guys know I'm a big Dotson fan. And if you look this up, this is actually pretty much the Dotson logo. I made this one with that online program too. I think it's a Tinkercad is what I used because it's one of the, just the easiest programs to use that's online and you don't have to worry about downloading anything. Um, and it saves everything for you and it's you know really on the go so I can make them like on my laptop at school and whatnot. But you can see it turned out really good. Um, I did have, I had the one of them that I made and kind of know it messed up a little bit. You can see it kind of got warped here so what I'm gonna have to do is bend that back um, by heating it up like with a lighter or something like that. Also, here's a little robot that uh, came with uh, the Cura program that I was using on the computer to be able to print from USB. Um, this one, like I said, just came with. This was the quickest one to print. This took about 30 minutes to print. Um, this Dotson logo, I think, took about a little over an hour. This Talency logo, I think, took about an hour and 27 minutes. And then the only other thing I made so far was I made this little box right here. That's one of the things that comes kind of like pre-installed on the printer. You can see this one kind of started to lift up the corner a little bit too, but um, you know, it's no biggie. Now, what I'm actually using for this, if you guys are wondering, is this actually just blue masking tape. Um, I believe that this is two inch as far as the width goes, and it's just single sided. Um, it's 3M because I don't want to put any cheap masking tape on this and have to tear it off in a million pieces each time. I just put down four strips every time I do it. So you can see the individual four lines you know one two three four I put them as close together as I can to make sure they're perfectly flat because that extruder gets very close to the bed like almost towards paper thin so if you're gonna have like a little bump in one of these it's gonna basically break through the tape and it can cause your um, whole entire piece to get messed up and you know what they say the first layer is the most important if you've looked up anything about 3d printing the first layer is basically what makes the whole thing but that first layer starts moving around it just ruins your piece and that was one of the problems I was having in the first place was I had no clue that you had to have something basically down to keep your piece from moving there's all sorts of different methods you can use and if you want to look those up you're more than welcome to but um, just the flat metal for me or the plain metal did not work at all it actually came with the film over it but uh, many people had removed the film including me thinking that it was part of the packaging because let me tell you there were so many freaking just all these pieces so many packaging on it my parents helped me get everything out um, but kind of go through some of the settings here so this dial right here, I can actually just adjust the feed rate from the um, screen, which is how fast the filament feeds through the extruder. So it shows you things like, this is the last thing I printed, which was the Talency logo. Um, so here's your nozzle heat. This is your hot red heat. This is the fan that cools the nozzle. And then this is like your percentage bar, and it also shows a percentage there. And that says, okay, so that's one hour and nine minutes, so maybe that's how long it took. I'm not too sure what the 129 is then. And then it makes this awful beeping noise every time you do anything. Which I've kind of thought about removing the beeper, but, um, you know, I've, I don't really need to. There's all sorts of different things you can do on the printer itself. Now, um, from what I've seen, if you do get the USB working properly, which I've kind of had some trouble with, I've downloaded the drivers and everything, and um, I just I couldn't really get it to work with Kira. So I've been going just basically from... Um, SD and then putting the SD card inside the main board on this um, Then you can actually do pretty much all the controlling from your computer and not even worry about 
um, really using the printer screen itself but like I said there, there's a lot of useful settings you can do on the printer and you can basically do everything from it from what I've seen so far besides designing the stuff of course. But overall though, like I said, go check out GearBest because this thing is just like, it, it's an awesome deal. As long as you don't mind putting everything together, it is going to take a while and I'm going to let you know now, it's actually a fairly decent size. I mean, how you guys can see here, but here's my hand next to it. So just to give you an idea, it's a really good size. Luckily I got a pretty big size desk and you know, I kind of have it shoved behind my computer. I, this is just the um, 1.75 uh, PLA by the way. Yeah, hopefully soon I'm going to kind of start messing around some more and start painting some of these. I'm definitely going to keep printing stuff and having so much fun printing stuff and then even making it myself. And there's a lot of websites where you can go and actually download um, basically pre-made files that people have already made. Like I'm getting ready I think to make like a little tool holder. I'll put some websites down in the description below and then I'm also going to have of course a link to this printer if you decide you want to buy it. Um, the price kind of fluctuates on GearBest so you know keep keep your eyes peeled for it because you might be able to get it for um, relatively cheap. But overall though really recommend this printer as long as you're willing to put it together and spend some time you know getting it fine tuned. But let me tell you though once you get it tuned this thing can make some really awesome stuff. So we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys later.